Setting up a new Windows system, be it desktop or a laptop, is an amazing task. I mean, I love it. But there are a lot of people who are not sure what app to install on a new PC. I mean, how to go about it. So, well, this video is dedicated to all of you who are looking to set up your new Windows 10 PC and are not sure as to what are the apps that you'd install first. So, well, what are we waiting for? My name is Ashish. You are watching Guiding Tech and let's talk about the best apps for any new Windows PC. Let's get started. Now let me start with a very simple but a very important tool for every Windows machine out there and the name of the tool is ShutUp10. Now this particular tool is dedicated towards privacy. I mean, if you're not sure how private your Windows 10 PC is, because see, there are a lot of switches there. I mean, you go into settings, there is like webcam, microphone, I mean, a lot of things, which can be a tedious task to go inside each and every setting to control your privacy. And that's where this app comes in. You just need to download and launch it since it's a portable app. You don't even need to install it. And then all you need to do is toggle the settings inside. You can change various options here and adjust the privacy settings to please yourself. If you are unsure of the options to play around with, there's also a recommended settings mode that will take care of the privacy settings for you. So that was about privacy. Now let's move on to downloading stuff. And for that, you need a download manager and that is the second app in the list. Now, see, you will be downloading apps for this video. I mean, the apps I'll be talking about, but then there are a lot of other apps that you might need to download. And for that, you need a download manager and MigMiggy. I recently stumbled upon this app. It's a pretty good one. So right off the bat, the interface is the most modern and clean looking out there across our download managers, but it's not all beauty. The software does a pretty good job for fetching files from your browser or even add them manually. And above that, the schedule feature is pretty good too. It offers pretty much what you expect from a good download manager with an easy to use interface and super fast acceleration. And now let's move on to a compression tool and the name of the app is 7 Zip. Now see, Windows come, comes with a built-in uh, system using which you can compress files into a zip folder or extract a zip folder, but then it doesn't work for 7-zip file or a RAR file. So for that, you can install 7-zip, which is completely free and an open source software that supports all compression formats out there. So whether it's zip, RAR, TAR or 7-zip, it can handle it all. You can use it to create your own archives as well. And the compression ratio is pretty good too. And that's not all. 7-zip also works on file like ISO. So those ISO files, you can extract it using 7-zip. That's not all. You can also use it to extract XML document files, let's say docx or pptx and so much more. So, well, 7-zip is one stop utility for all your compression needs on Windows 10. And now let's move on to an antivirus app. Now, it's a big debate if you need antivirus app in Windows 10 because see, the fact is Windows Defender has come a long way and it's pretty good, but then I actually insist on a second layer of security, just in case. It's, it's not harming anything, right? So well, for that, you can install and try Malware Bytes. Not only does it do a great job of cleaning the PC, but its AI can also prevent from system against new sorts of viruses. In fact, the software also got a flawless cleanup support at avtest.org. Now, the main reason why I prefer this is because it doesn't interfere with Windows Defender and does not occupy a lot of resources either. And well, that's all I need. It's silent, uh, doesn't consume a lot of resources and is free to use. So next, let's talk about a media player. And well, the only name, the only name which I'll recommend to all of you out there is VLC. And I've been using it for God knows how many years. So VLC has been at the throne for the best video player for a long time and for good reasons. While it's not perfect, it's definitely the coolest since it offers support for a huge library of codecs, has a simple and easy to use interface, doesn't take a lot of system memory and is completely free. Also, did you know that VLC can convert your video files format as well? It's literally all in one package and I can easily recommend it to you without any issues. Next, let's talk about Office. And see, Microsoft might give you 30 days of free trial for Office 
but then that's all it doesn't give you any free alternative unless you are going for an online version yes online office is free but for desktop installation you need to pay microsoft some money but then there is an alternative and well the best alternative that i can suggest is free office so free office is just like microsoft office and for the most part except that it's free you get almost the same interface fully compatible with microsoft file formats and a wide array of tools and much more it's easily one of my personal favorite free office apps for windows out there but then you don't have to settle for just this one we have a dedicated video where we have talked about some cool office alternatives that you can try and you must have a look at it i'll provide you with the links in the description of this video and now moving on to the next app the name is launchy and this is one of my personal favorite apps and you love it especially if you are moving from mac os to a windows pc now i don't know the reason why you are doing that but just in case if you are moving from mac to windows you must install this app so using launchy is pretty simple you just need to install it and configure the directories you want it to search once it has finished indexing you can launch the search panel anywhere by just tapping alt plus space you can search for anything be it apps images videos or just about any other file if it is in the directory you indexed launchy will show it trust me if you have not used this app you must it will really increase your productivity throughout the day now moving on the next app i'll recommend for you guys would be sharex and it's a pretty cool app for all your screen shots or your screen casting needs on windows 10 now sharex is a super simple tool that you can install to capture your screen easily it's free and works amazingly well apart from the simple screenshot mode you can even record the screen on windows 10 in the highest quality without any issues now sharex does require you to install another module from within the app and if you want an even simpler way out we have another video talking about the best screen recording softwares for windows so do check that out as well and now before we wrap up let me talk about a bonus app that's called nanite now see all the apps that i've talked about they are there for a reason but then apart from that you might want to download a browser let's say even two or three browser let's opera chrome firefox you might want to install so many apps out there and nanite can help you with that so it's a website where you can choose or like all the apps that you want to download and it will generate a single click installable file for you so after you download the app just click on it to install all the apps that you have selected and it will be done without any issues and it's pretty cool so guys those were the best apps for windows 10 pc that you must install in 2020 now if you like this video please do give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon out there so well that's all in this one and i hope to see you in our next video until then take care and have a wonderful day Bye bye